tonight on Be Something Wonderful, debunking 3D reality, the truth revealed. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I heard from one of you that said, Tom, I've been focused on imagining my wish fulfilled, but I hear a lot of coaches, a lot of spiritual teachers, a lot of the books talk about the idea of limiting or false beliefs or blocks in our unconscious or subconscious mind that's keeping, that can be keeping us from our wish fulfilled, keeping us from our desires. I was wondering if you could talk about that. Well, guys, we're going to unpack this tonight and more. We've talked of this, about this a lot, right? And I understand the idea of limiting beliefs, false beliefs. We've talked about this, but hear this, and this is a big point that I want to start with. It's not about changing or digging up limiting and false beliefs. Rather, it's about moving your attention and focus on your wish fulfilled, on your desire, on your end that you want. Hear this, when you do that, you form new beliefs, new assumptions around that wish fulfilled, right? Whenever you focus on digging something up or trying to fix it or trying to get rid of it, you actually create it. You're creating the very beliefs that you believe are limiting you. Wow, that's big. Right? You're like a famous movie actor in a movie where, where, uh, where you're experiencing these thoughts and feelings where you made some assumptions about the role you're playing. You have some beliefs that you had to agree to and then you forgot and then you're, now you're trying to fix yourself. Right? Think of the insanity in the movie when you, and you're going to ruin the whole movie. Hear this. You just forgot that you're playing a role. That that's why you're there. It's, you can, and then in your next movie role, you're going to have new assumptions and new beliefs. And you know that those thoughts and feelings are just telling you what those beliefs and assumptions are. Hear this. This is big. So let's unpack this a little bit more. So we're always, we're always trying to, we come into the 3D world and then we quickly forget who we are. And we start, we're always trying to fix something. We, we think life is about running away from negativity and negative conditions. It's about trying to manipulate things, trying to change something, trying to improve something about who we believe or perceive ourselves to be, about who you believe or perceive yourself to be. Right? You're perceiving yourself something broken or something that needs to be fixed or improved when that's the very vehicle, that 3D you. That, 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 that it was made to experience the world of duality. Hear this. You're trying to fix the 3D you when really that's made specifically designed to experience the linear, the linear time and reality and duality and relativity and what we perceive as neg good and bad and positive, negative. Hear this, right? So, so behind your desire or your wish fulfilled is the imagined end of being free of negative unwanted conditions versus imagining your heart's desire. Hear this. This is what's holding you back. Yes, you're imagining your wish fulfilled, but you're imagining the end, that the end is being free of negative conditions or unwanted conditions versus the end being imagining your heart's desire, imagining your wish fulfilled. That, there's a big difference there, right? You're focused on the negative conditions, being rid of them, when that's the 3D experience, that's the 3D you. Instead, move to that broader perspective where you're imagining your heart's desire. That's big. Let's unpack this a little bit more. You have the unconscious belief that you have to fix yourself first to be worthy and deserving of what you want. Hear this. You're thinking you've got to do all of this preparation. You've got to fix this 3D you that came here under that premise to, to experience duality. You've got to think to, and you've got to, you think you've got to fix all that to get what you want. So you imagine your wish fulfilled. You create the unseen manifestation. Okay, so you've created it when you imagined it, but you can only manifest it in 3D when you accept it. And the reason you're not accepting it is because you think you've got to fix something. You're believing in that movie role that you're playing. You're believing those tears, the drama, the trauma 
You're identifying with it as who you really are versus it's a role you're playing in the movie. And you're not supposed to fix that. You just choose a new role. Wow, that's big, right? You give more power and energy to your negative thoughts, feelings, and beliefs than to your heart's desire. And then that's what you end up manifesting, your fears. Right? When you, give, you manifest whatever you give your energy to. So if you're giving more energy to the negative conditions, to trying to fix those, to trying to imagine an end where they don't exist, that's what you end up creating. Hear this, guys. This is big today. So let's unpack this a little bit more. Love, joy, positivity. It doesn't have to be manufactured or conjured. It's always been there. That's the true you behind the actor, behind the 3D drama and trauma that you're experiencing, right? That real you is that. It's always been there. You don't have to create it. You don't have to affirm it. You don't have to conjure it up. You just need to not resist the negative. But let the illusion be. Enjoy it for what it is, right? The negative thoughts and feelings just tell you what you're assuming and believing, just like a movie actor, right? If they're crying, then you assume that, they, that, that something, they're, they're making the assumption that, they have, that they're hurt, right? That's the role they're playing. When you observe and allow them, allow these negative feelings, allow these negative thoughts, you bring them to conscious awareness. And now, they're, now, you, now you've got conscious control, right? Now you know they're not real, right? This is big. It's not about digging up, as I said, or changing limited bogus beliefs. It's about taking your focus and attention off them and moving to your heart's desire to your wish fulfilled, then the, the, the new beliefs, the new assumptions get created around that because you're, you're assuming your wish fulfilled. So every, the thoughts and feelings that are going to generate it are going to be generated based on that new assumption. That's big. So let's unpack this a little bit more. All of that past baggage of accumulated hurts, trauma, drama, uh, wounds, right? These past wounds that we think we have to go in and fix and face and, 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 and get rid of them, right? That's all part of the 3D you. That's the illusion of separation. That's the limited worldview, right? You could spend your whole time fixing that. Instead, move to that higher you, right? The, the real you, the true you, right? You're not here to just somehow fix all that and resolve it. That's not why you came to spend your whole life trying to fix stuff, trying to fix a 3D you that agreed to come here to experience all that, right? It's just part of the 3D package, hear this, or the vehicle that allows you to mix it up in the world of duality. Once you know that, once you separate yourself from those thoughts and feelings, right? From that drama and trauma, once you stop identifying with it and see it for what it is, for what it is now you're the creator you were born to be. This is big. Your attention and focus on that keeps you from experiencing the real you, the higher you, right? The you that's already perfect, whole, untouched, infinite, and unlimited. Now you can create whatever you want knowing that. Wow, do you hear this, guys? So let's unpack this a little bit more. You are here to connect with your inner avatar. Hear this, right? The essence of who you really are as divine love and manifest your ideal life here on 3D, right? It's to know that and then create your own reality. It's all done. It's all created anyway. It's to, it's to perceive and to, and to put your attention and focus on your heart's desire and then your next heart's desires and then your next heart's desires, right? You're expanding constantly to become more of that avatar, that spiritual being, that essence of what you already are. You're not here to fix or just cope with the 3D you. The 3D you is here to experience all that, right? You're here to transcend it to bust the belief in limitation and lack and, and separation, to enjoy the 3D you and experience, but don't get attached to it or identify with it as who you are. Wow, that's big. So let's unpack this a little bit more. Your thoughts and feelings 
are not objective reality. They are just your story you're telling yourself based on past beliefs and assumptions. Hear this, they're all just old, bogus beliefs and assumptions. You don't have to dig them up. They're old, they're worn out, they're not true, they're illusions, right? This is what Genevieve Davis says, the spiritual teacher. Telling a new story is done in the moment, from within, from a place of truth, from a place of feeling in the moment, right? None of your experience exists outside of your thoughts. You're a reality generator. Hear this. So you just need to tell that new story based on those new, new assumptions, right? And then thoughts, the thoughts and feelings from those would be based on that new story, based on those new assumptions. Then you move in who do who you truly are, the conscious creator who you really are, right? That is debunking 3D reality. That's the truth revealed. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos, that's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our website at TomKaren.com at BeSomethingWonderful.com or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much, I love you guys. And guys, we passed 2K today in, in subscribers and I just wanna thank you all, great love. See you next time.